Right, what's going on? Welcome back to another TK421 Collectibles video. The Marshal is in town. Look at this. People don't like his face, apparently. Let's check it out. <laughs> Okay, let's check this box out. I mean, that looks a fantastic picture of the figure, as always on the cover. Uh, there he is with all his uh, Boba Fett armor on. And then a picture on the side of him without the armor on. And there's the art card underneath that with a cracking picture of the head sculpt over there in the corner. And then the uh, crate Dragon, that's looking ace that. I forgot this is from season two of The Mandalorian, isn't it? So uh, it's been a while, been a while. <laughs> Been, been a while coming so uh, let's get this off have a look at the figure and there's the actual figure so let's get this out have a look at all them accessories let me see your identification right let's go with accessories uh, obviously first we get Boba Fett's rocket pack looks amazing nice bit of a magnetized connector on the back there superb weathering and stuff on that I think we've seen that before though obviously on the other the other Boba Fett and then one of his weapons this looks cool this because it's got like this wrap on the end like that and it's um it's really well textured that and it's obviously got the wrap there textured as well and the wash on it so you can see all like the dust in it that is looking really cool liking that and then his other weapon is his pistol uh, again, that is looking really cool, looking really good that, that sight on the top and everything, it looks just kind of cobbled together but yeah, liking that. Then you got his uh, bottle of Spotchka, which looks a little bit more fuller than um, Fennec Shan's was, <laughs> so she must have been sipping hers quite a bit. And then we get the rocket for the jetpack and the flame effect for the rocket, like that, looking pretty cool. And then some flame effects, obviously for the jetpack. They look cool then. I do like these. I, I don't tend to use them, but they do look really good. And then we've got a set of hands. The usual stuff, fists, weapon holding hands. Uh, they look really cool though. The glove effect on them is very good. Um, liking that. And obviously this display base. It's the final part of the accessories. So there's a detachable bit of diorama. You can slot, well, I guess you're just you're supposed to slot there with the with the crotch grabber hole there and then the standard grabber so that's looking I do like that though the, kind of the, the uh, brick effect on there concrete whatever it is geocrete is it um, looks fantastic that definitely keeping that on Cobb Vanth looking good let's have a look at the let's have a close look at the figure there's one set for stun Here's how he comes straight out of the box. We want to look at the head sculpt, not the Boba Fett helmet, which we've seen quite a lot. So uh, let's swap this out straight away. And here he is. And I think that looks, it, obviously it's it's not as good as the prototype, I've got to admit, but I'm, I'm more than happy with that. I mean, when you consider, right, when you consider a prototype it takes months, probably, to develop and uh, refine like a high quality prototype and iterations and all the kind of they spent like weeks and weeks doing a paint job on it and and that's your prototype this is a mass produced figure um, and I think it just looks it looks spot on I think that well happy with that I do like the uh, the hair and everything it looks great you know he's got like blemishes on his face and everything scarring the beard looks pretty good the hair looks good and everything that I've I'm, I'm more than happy with that, that's, that is cool. So yeah, I don't really get the complaints to be honest, especially with collectors haven't actually seen it in hand, a lot of people, but kind of complaining about it, yeah, whatever. I think that's Bob on that, spot on, liking it. So let's have a look down the figure, because uh, obviously this is the, the Fett armor, so we've got the pipes and everything, um, looking really good. And then we've got the, obviously the poles with the mythosaur on it. And then he's got his the usual, what we've seen him with the red kind of shirt underneath. And then move down to his belt and everything. This is all quite, quite loose. So it hangs quite loose there. He's got the canisters there. The level of detail on this outfit, absolutely amazing. But the belt, obviously he's got pouches on it. There's patterns on his back pocket here. And all these like ammo 
in the belt and that other belt underneath the main the holster looking really good and more armor on the band braces with the whistling birds and everything um, I don't know whether it's a, quite supposed to be that loose but we'll have a look at that in a bit and then he's got like these obviously like the combat style pants on again more details on here that I never would have picked up before like this metal metal hoop here and whatever whatever that does there uh, more pouches and pockets and all sorts going on there looking fantastic and then obviously he's got the another bit of Boba Fett armor and then his boots so um this figure's amazing i mean it was quite pricey considering but i can see why the level of detail on it absolutely fantastic so i think head sculpt wise i'm going to give that i know <laughs> people will probably shout me down here but i'm going to give that a nine out of ten i'm liking it i really am and the outfit itself i'm going to give it a, a nine out of ten as well we'll take the uh, take the armor off in a bit and have a look at just the, the regular outfit in the posing section but very versatile have it in so many different uh, different configurations from mando 2 and book of boba fett as well so yeah well impressed give me regular reports please so yeah let me know in the comments what you think about this one uh, obviously the head sculpt is a bit divisive i'm going to say it's a it's a good one to be honest like i say maybe not a 9 out of 10 like I did say in the previous segment but it's uh, I do like it, it's really good um, and like I say from, from going from a prototype to mass production you're going to lose a bit of the a, a bit of how ace the prototype was when it comes to the final product but and it's, it's still pretty good um, so yeah if you like this sort of thing don't forget to like and subscribe I really appreciate it uh, let me know in the comments whether you're picking this one up or whether, you're gonna, whether it's a pass I know uh, and I spoke to a lot of people who said they were passing on it anyway. Just, I mean, the hype's not there anymore, is it? Because it's, it's pretty much season two. We've had Book of Boba Fett, and I was in that a bit. Ahsoka as well. Probably loads of other <laughs> series in between. So, uh, but I, I was really hyped for this because I, I think this character is really, really cool. So here's a quick pose, just trying to utilise the jetpack and everything. Uh, not probably one I would display it as. There's no flight pole or anything, or dynamic flight stand. So he's just either taking off. Or, or landing <laughs> or you can just get a flight pole from uh, another figure if you've got one but um, yeah not the best pose in the world but at least it utilizes kind of everything is obviously his weapons in his holster there uh, got the flame effects on the uh, flame effects on the jetpack and then his main blaster there looking pretty cool I reckon that right I probably will be displaying him with the Boba Fett armor on because it's uh, I do like it when he's, he's dressed like that but this looks really cool as well and it's just it's quite it's dead easy to take all the armor off as well just a few velcro straps here and there um, just removing the pipes from the from his back and everything but uh, I think that looks cool that actually I didn't, I didn't think it would look that good with, with the art without the armor on but I think it looks pretty good liking that I think they've got the dimensions of him spot on like it's obviously quite slim build isn't he kind of long legs and yeah it works really well that I think they've done a really good job on that hot toys so there's obviously a few figures we can display him with uh, if you're on the fence about it I'd think it through because <laughs> it's a flipping amazing figure I think look at it from there got Cad Bane in the foreground obviously and there's a uh, Cobb Vanth ready to, ready to draw um, I think it looks cool this really good I'm actually thinking of maybe displaying him like that now actually because uh, he looks really cool digging that figure so I hope you like that quick look at Cobb Vanth uh, in the Boba Fett armour as well uh, let me know in the comments whether you're going to be getting this figure whether you, you like it whether you hate it that head sculpt what are your thoughts on that really well really interested to know um obviously I, I really like it just i don't know probably because i've spent like 300 quid on it but yeah uh, <laughs> but it's I, I do like the figure to be fair it's going to look ace in the uh, mando uh book of boba fett set up um so yeah don't forget to like and subscribe really appreciate it and i'll uh if you want to chat about this figure or anything else in the collection i'll see you in the comments otherwise See you in the next video. Take it easy.